What's up, YouTubers? I'm Allison. For this workout, we're doing a low impact, no jumping boot camp routine. But before we begin, make sure to tap that subscribe button and tap the bell to stay notified of the latest fitness videos. For this workout, all you need is a moderate pair of dumbbells. We'll be working three blocks containing four moves each, 30 seconds on and a 15 second rest in between and repeating each block two times. Even though there's no jumping in this workout, we're still gonna get your heart rate up. This workout does include a warm up and cool down, so make sure to stick around to the end for a good stretch. Grab your weights and some water and let's get started. Let's warm it up. For the first move, give me a big march, keeping the abs tight and the spine long. Drive the knees up to the chest, bring the arms out, and give me small circle rolls. Let's keep that big march, bring those arms out, and do circles going backwards. Again, keep the fingertips long. Move. Let's do front to back kicks. If you have something stable to hang on to, place your hand on top and then kick forward and then back. So turn around, place your hand on your steady surface, and kick forward and back with the outside leg. Up move, let's do a set of windmills. Set those feet a little wider than the shoulder width apart, extend those arms, abs are tight, reach towards the opposite foot, come back up, repeat other side. Let's do those hip opener squats. Start with the feet together, open up that knee, plant the foot down, sink back and squat, step together, repeat going back.
your four moves for block number one. Kicking off, we're gonna get the heart rate up with step kick tap backs. Staying on the one side, we're gonna step, kick with the outside leg, step down, and then tap back. Step, kick, tap, back. If you'd like to make this more intense but still low impact, add a reach towards the ground and make it a greater range of motion. We'll stay on the one side for the first exercise, and then on the third exercise, do the other side. For the second move, grab your weights. We're doing alternating lateral lunges with the reach down to overhead press. Start with the arms in front of you, palms facing in. Give yourself some room on both sides to move. Step to a lateral lunge, elongate the inside leg, reach down, and then when you come up, bicep curl, extend those arms overhead. Extend down again. Reach, curl, press up. And for that fourth move, we're combining a squat outer thigh with lateral raises. Have those feet shoulder width apart in a squat position, and with the upper body, palms face in, elbows are tight. We're going to squat down, on the way up, arms come out, legs come out. Plant the foot, do it again. Squat, other leg extends. You're on my mind, on my mind, on my mind. Yeah, I'm going out of my mind. Tell me what to do, what to do I'm on my knees, yeah, I am begging you, begging you I'll break the rules if it will get me to, get me to, yeah
him Just follow me, shadow me, I won set of Romanian deadlifts to reverse flies. Holding your weights, start in a standing position with your feet together. Soft bend in the knees, shoulders back, palms facing in. We're going to perform your Romanian deadlift, keeping soft bend in the knees. And when you get on the low end, do a set of reverse flies. Come up, squeeze the glutes. Bring it down, flies, and then come right back up. For the first cardio move in block two, we're doing a set of alternating knees. Bring the arms up, knees come up and down towards the chest. Think of this as like a standing crunch, so really engage the core. And then for your cardio, make it bigger and bring the heart rate up. And for that next move, we're doing reverse lunges with alternating chest presses. Start with those feet together and make sure it's clear behind you. Arms up, palms down, shoulders relaxed. We're going to extend one arm, extend the same back leg for the lunge, and then come back up to start. Press out and in. And for your second cardio move in block two, we're doing a set of hamstring curls. All we're gonna do is drop the hips down and up, bring the heels up to the glutes. The lower you can drop the hips, the more intense it is. You can definitely shorten this range of motion and make it smaller, hands on the hips, and just kick those heels up and down.
to know ya Hey, na, 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 na Delve into emotion Leave us in this moment Yeah
stick it down onto the ground. We're kicking it off with some plank passes. Using one of your moderate dumbbells, you're going to have it underneath you and then go into a high plank position. From here, we're going to take the dumbbell and pass it over towards the opposite foot, raising those hips up, come back up to the high plank, reach back with the opposite hand, bring it up, and then cross again, making a big X shape underneath you. For the second move, we're doing over the rainbows. If your dumbbell will stand vertically, go ahead and set it up on the edge of your mat. Once you're there, legs start together on one side, hands are down, engage the core. We're going to lift those legs over the dumbbell, tap the heels on the other side, and then bring it back, really engage in the core. For the next exercise, lie down on the ground and we're doing a set of hip bridge marches. Once you're on the ground, set those feet down, bending the knees. Engage the core and tuck that pelvis under. All we're gonna do is press to the one heel, lift the one leg, drop the hips, and then repeat other side, trying to keep those hips steady. And for that final move in this workout, we're doing a set of bird dogs. Go into a tabletop position, hands and knees. Engage the core and keep the back flat. We're lifting opposite arm, opposite leg, and then bring it down and then repeat other side. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower.
nice cool down and stretch. Let's stay down on the mat. Okay, go ahead and turn so you're facing one end of your mat and step one foot forward, one leg back. This back means down. We're gonna stretch up those hip flexors in this low lunge position. Once you're here, make sure everything's in a straight line to start. Bring those arms up, inhale, and then exhale. Pull the shoulders away from the ears and then push the hips forward. Feeling that stretch all the way through the leg. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose, and then exhale out. From here, take a deep breath, inhale, and then on the exhale, cactus those arms and lift your heart to the ceiling. Inhale, reach those arms up, let's straighten the body, and then exhale, cactus, lean into it. Twice more, inhale, reach up, straighten, exhale, lean in. One more here, inhale, reach, and then exhale, lean. Good, keep the legs position the same, reach the arms up, set the opposite hand down on the ground, and then other leg or other arm stays up in the air, look at that hand. Good. If you'd like an extra bonus quad stretch, and depending on your flexibility, you can reach back, grab that foot, keep this hand down for balance, and stretch up the quadricep. If this doesn't feel good, I want you to stay right here. If you're holding that quad, release it. Set the hands down, frame the front foot, and then walk those hands back for the hamstring. Now for the hamstring stretch, you're gonna feel the back of the front leg, heel is down, and toe is up. Good. And then slowly walk forward, bring this leg back, go into a kneeling position, and switch sides. Other leg goes forward, other leg back, Doing that low lunge, start by squaring up those hips and then extend those arms up. Inhale and then exhale. Let's lean into it a little bit more. Good, gaze this forward, long fingertips. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Take a breath, inhale. And then on your next exhale, cactus those arms, heart to ceiling. Inhale, reach those arms up, straighten the body. Exhale, lean into it. Twice more. Inhale, reach and straighten. Exhale, lean. One more here. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, lean. Keep your body position the same. Raise those arms back up. And then set the opposite hand down. Turn and look at the other hand up at the ceiling. So again, your option is to either stay here or if you'd like to try for that quad, you can reach back, stretch it out, and hold this. If you're not feeling it, stay with this position. Very nice. And if you had that quad stretch, gently release it, bring this arm down, hands frame the front foot, 
and then slowly walk back, stretching out the hamstring of the other leg. Feeling behind and popping that toe up. Good job. Slowly walk forward, bring the fingertips on the inside, bring this leg back, swivel around, take a seat. You can sit however comfortable. One hand down, one arm up and over, stretching out the sides. Take a big breath, inhale, and then exhale. Windmill those arms, other side and reach. Center this up, interlock the fingers behind. Open up that chest and heart. Give me a deep breath, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more time, inhale, breathe. Exhale out. And release, interlock in front, round the upper back, lift the chin. Inhale, big reach all the way up to your ceiling and bring it down. My name is Allison. Thank you so much for working out with me and I look forward to seeing you next time. Great job at completing this workout. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my Instagram at AllieFitATL for more daily workouts.